My name is Matthew Liu. I'm co-founder of Origin Protocol. Uh, here at Origin, we're building protocols that enable the sharing economy to move to the blockchain. So think about how companies like Airbnb, GetAround, Elance, uh, and even Uber can move to the blockchain in the future. Uh, so we're building a platform that enables other businesses and developers uh, to very quickly create decentralized marketplaces. We're building a uh, developer platform um, that will make it very, very easy for other businesses to build on top of the blockchain. Uh, so to do this, uh, one of the first things we're building is a very easy to use JavaScript library called OriginJS. And this is a way for developers and businesses to um, use some very basic JavaScript functions. Um, and then we do all the heavy lifting for the Ethereum blockchain as well as IPFS, which we're using for uh, distributed file storage. Um, so what happens is um, <coughs> we store um, your listing information uh, on the blockchain as well as on IPFS uh, and then we're able to build a completely decentralized uh, DAP for you, which means that there's no traditional database, there's no traditional web server, uh, there's no AWS or Heroku. Uh, and so these peer-to-peer -peer marketplaces that developers want to build um, can actually be completely decentralized using our technology and our platform. If you look at a lot of these marketplaces, um, they take transaction fees, right? So these middlemen will say, uh, if your Airbnb listing is you know, $200, uh, they'll take money on both the buyer side and the, on the uh, supplier side. So adding that up, that might be 16% in some cases, and in another case, it might be 20%. If you look at something like Uber, they take 25% of the driver's uh, value that they capture from every ride. On top of that, there are also extraneous fees, adding them all up. In some cases, it's over 30%. Uh, so what we're trying to do is enable peer-to-peer uh, -peer transactions so that the buyer and seller can meet and they can find that efficient price where both of them are better off than they were uh, if they were transacting on one of these traditional centralized marketplaces. Uh, I've always been an entrepreneur at heart, so uh, when I joined YouTube, it was a very small company. It was around 25 employees or so. And so really enjoy that fast-paced environment where we can build things very quickly and innovate. Uh, so I've always been drawn to the smaller companies, actually, as opposed to the larger companies. And also, um, both Quickie and Bonobos were also startups when I was uh, part of those companies. Um, all three companies were eventually acquired, which is a, a great outcome. Um, but ultimately, I want to be able to you know, build things um, as an entrepreneur and have uh, a lot of deep impact on the world. Um, specifically to uh, blockchain and cryptocurrency, uh, we started looking at the space in 2016, and as the community really started maturing, uh, as the tech started maturing, we started seeing more and more opportunities. And so we asked ourselves, um, what is decentralized technology, like the blockchain, um, actually good for? And what we really focused on was um, these peer-to-peer -peer marketplaces, right? So the networks that have multiple participants, um, if you can actually decentralize and actually have peer-to-peer -peer interactions, then it really changes the nature of those interactions, right? Um, and in this case, those interactions are transactions. And so we can fundamentally change the way that buyers and sellers meet, um, communicate, and then transact. And that also creates a huge disruption in these traditional business models. Um, the sharing economy is growing globally. Um, you know, the amount of revenue that uh, companies like Uber and Airbnb, uh, even smaller companies like uh, Fiverr or Postmates, um, you know, regional companies like DD, Grab, Ofo, um, they take quite significant revenues in the form of these transaction fees. And so uh, we really honed in on this concept of, hey, can we disrupt these traditional centralized intermediaries and in the process of doing so, uh, give back to individual buyers and sellers. Uh, and so that was a very motivating mission for us and that's how we started building Origin. We are building a platform, uh, and as a result, we are looking for um, partners, uh, you know, different businesses to be building on top of our platform. A right? uh, platform is not a platform unless you actually have other projects building on top of you. So we're very, very aggressively looking to partner with other companies in this space. Right now, we do have about uh, 15 
companies that have already committed to building on top of Origin when we're ready to launch. Uh, these are, uh, many of them, decentralized marketplaces um, in this new uh, economy. Uh, so as an example, we have uh, B-Token. They're working on a decentralized Airbnb uh, out of San Francisco. Uh, we have Kenya, uh, which is similar to a decentralized uh, Fiverr um, out of uh, Australia. Uh, we have a number of other companies like Odom, it's an education marketplace. Um, we have uh, Chaser, which is an early attempt at building a decentralized Uber for ride sharing. Uh, and the list goes on and on. Uh, so our ultimate goal is to very, very aggressively push on the partnership front uh, and try to get you know, 100 partners or so ready to go by the time that we're ready to launch our platform. Uh, but beyond that, uh, we don't actually want there to necessarily be a formal partnership agreement before developers can build on top of us. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, we're building developer tools like Origin.js that will eventually enable uh, many different um, developers and businesses to build on top of the platform without actually having to sign a partnership agreement without needing our permission. Uh, the whole point of this is that we can build an open, scalable um, set of protocols that serve as the underlying infrastructure for many, many different decentralized markets places to build upon us. Yeah. We haven't signed any South Korean partners yet to date. We we're very, very interested in doing so. Um, so across all different verticals, uh, whether it's home sharing or car sharing, or it could be uh, contractor services, or even things like, um, you know, there's contract photographers or, uh, you know, uh, designers and engineers. Um, all different types of categories, we're looking for people to build on top of Origin. be very, very interested in talking to some of these South Korean companies that are currently in the blockchain and cryptocurrency spaces. We don't have anything to announce uh, in terms of ICO or token sale. Uh, right now we're very, very focused on building out our technology and our platform. We're very, very focused on hiring the very best uh, engineers and other team members onto our team. And we are interested in building a very global community. Uh, so we do invite folks uh, in South Korea to join our Telegram channel. That's where we have a lot of discussion and announcements. Uh, so Origin Protocol uh, is the Telegram channel name. Uh, and from there, we're looking to just um, really get the word out about our technology and our mission. Uh, and then uh, really just push forward in those fronts first. Um, again, nothing to really announce about a token sale or ICO right now. So we asked ourselves this very, very audacious question, which is, can we build a set of open source protocols uh, that will replace not one, not two, but potentially dozens of these multi-million and even multi-billion dollar companies uh, in the future? So companies like Airbnb and Uber, uh, companies like Didi and Ofo um, and Grab and Gojek, et cetera. Um, these companies are doing very, very well today and they're doing a fantastic job servicing consumers. Uh, we envision a world where 10 years from now, uh, most if not all of these companies uh, are decentralized uh, and building on top of the Origin protocol. And on top of that, there will be many more niche localized use cases and verticals that can also be built on top of our platform. Um, so we're really looking forward to uh, having many, many decentralized marketplaces in the future. I want to thank uh, everyone in the community uh, for being a part of this journey. Um, you know, as one of the founders of this project and you know, speaking on behalf of many other founders, I can say that uh, the community is really, really important, right? So folks that believe in the vision, that um, really engage in discussion, uh, open source developers that are contributing to our code base, uh, people that are willing to uh, help represent us at local meetups um, and get the word about our very ambitious long-term vision. This has been extremely helpful for us already in uh, even our early existence as a company and as a project. And we're really, really excited about delivering um, upon our milestones and uh, again, really, really engaging with the community here in South Korea over the next months and uh, certainly next uh, few years. Thank you.